Well hello, it's your old mate Dave Spencer back with you and we're just commencing the second part of our coverage at Middlewich. We're just off the M6 motorway in Cheshire about six seven minutes drive away from the PMP base and as, if, as is ever what shall we see? Well we always say we see what we see and we'll see what we do see. It's in a lot of Fodens this morning so far perhaps we'll see some more of them. It's coming up towards lunchtime so perhaps things will uh, drop off for a while but we'll stick with it if you stick with us. So I'll get around the other side of the camera now and see what we can find for you. Dinner time must be uh, past. This thing seems to be getting busy again. And uh, we've got an ERF over the other side. I should have stuck where I, I was, shouldn't I? Oh, he's coming this way? No. What a shame. How nice was that? Johnson. Oh, come on, Downson. Who dares wins? Get stuck out there. I oh, was just sharing a bit of banter with the driver coming out there, and you know, I think the sun and that little hint of spring in the air look at that nice wave a little hint of spring around it's put a spring in everybody's step and it's made everybody feel a bit better well that's uh, that's good it's good in my book anyway and uh, the lorries Hard to believe we're on six, sixteen hundredth of a second filming on a hundred ASA. Gosh, that is bright, isn't it? Goodness me. Hard to believe. And you can still get the white glaring at you. That's uh, the speed on the still camera, not on the video. I've, I've got this on automatic. I guess it's selecting as fast a speed as it can, and given the amount of light, I guess that is pretty fast. It's annoying really, you, you can't sort of have it on a manual setting and have sort of automatic exposure. You have it manual, everything's manual. You, do, you control the speed and you have to control the exposure. Morrison's uh, distribution centre uh, a couple of miles back there <laughs> relatively small roads that's not that uh, popular with the uh, local people I 
I don't even know if we've got a Morrison's shop, I don't think so. Funny that, isn't it, really? We have a Morrison's distribution centre and, and no, no shop. But uh, hey ho, there's probably one tucked away somewhere that I'm not aware of. Well, I can. Uh, oh, that's blessed B and M's again. B and M's came over the hill and round the corner. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there's a song in there somewhere. Well, we saw a lot going out. Now they're all coming back again. I'm just going to head off to our right, storming off to our right, no doubt. How about that? This lad won't. What a nice shot. Kotzmeyer. Ah. He's not from around these here parts. Listen. Ah, uh, there is somebody coming. In fact, that actually there's two lorries coming. Oh, Mammut, we were talking about them before, weren't we? And here's the postman. I hope he doesn't get upset on taking this picture. Ah, the restyled Roberts. Next generation is grasshopper bread. Most people who tried it said it was okay. They couldn't really tell the difference. Oh, there's something of a small industry uh, grown in these parts. Uh, body repair shops. Tucked away in the nooks and the crannies around the middle of which. This one's going off to our right as well. Not exactly in the right lane for that, was he? There you go. B and M will. Is it B and M? No, it's not. Yes, it's B and M. We'll follow him down. No, he won't. Had me fooled. Which is not difficult. Well, things are certainly picking up now, and lunch is over. There were times though in the past when I'd, uh, when I was a youngster, we'd go out for a drink and then uh, having already had our tea and dinner, we'd uh, have chips after the pub. In those days you didn't get such things as chips in a pub. You had to go to the chippy for that. We had a chip shop at the top of our back lane. Uh, quite a late addition to our estate. And uh, not really somewhere we really ever bought many chips. Mum didn't uh, do uh, quite big chips. She did when she was younger though. Ah, the things we do when we're young. But, uh, not a particularly good diet. All that fat, batter, us and chips, I used to have. Well, we're nearly ready to uh, sign off once more.
Well hello, it's your old mate Dave back again. I'm looking straight into the sun, so uh, please forgive the squint. I can just about make out that I'm in the picture. And for those who are really clever, they realise I haven't got my glasses on because it doesn't sit that well on the ears when you've got your hat on. And this hat, thermal hat, really does the job. Here. Anyway, time for me to uh, thank you for uh, being with us today and to say to you, bye for now. And you look, look after yourselves out there. You watch how you go if you're an oldie like me. And if you're young, well, you've got your whole life ahead of you. And uh, it's great to know that we have so many people out there on these journeys with us. And so you look after yourselves and uh, I'm home now for a nice brew and uh, perhaps a little bit of cake or a couple of biscuits. I need something. Anyway, spring's nearly here. Bye for now and we'll see you all again. Bye now.